Shalom. Welcome back. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to you, brothers, who's doing this work in sincerity and in truth. This is the brother Bara from GMS Chicago. Uh, back with another lesson. Uh, I was reading the book of Ephesians uh, the other day, <clears throat> right? The Spirit jumped on jumped on me to just to talk about uh, a certain point in the, in, the, in the scriptures, basically dealing with how uh, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, didn't leave it to chance. He has certain man program, all right, to do this work, to fulfill his will, literally program. So uh, when you got people out there that always, especially these Christians, man, these plantation, uh, <laughs> cockazoid, worshiping uh, Jesus Christ, these people. Uh, I always ask the question that, you know, do, do you give your life to Jesus? Do you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and all this this nonsense? But when you really understand the scriptures, uh, like I said, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai did not leave it to chance. He set up select men that even if they wanted to, uh, they got to do this work. They got to fulfill, uh, got to fulfill the prophecies. All right. <clears throat> The first scripture that I'm going to get, uh, bear with me, is in the book of uh, Proverbs, right? Now, this is going to be uh, Proverbs 20 and 24, all right? It says, man's goings are of the Lord, all right? So, this, this, this scripture right here completely obliterates uh, free will completely obliterates it at the end of the day uh yahweh bashim yahweh shai already uh, picked the losers and he already picked the winners everything just has to play out right it says how can a man then understand understand his own way right so in the scriptures you know you know, it's like I said, it's not like these people that go to church and uh, and try to push for you to go to church and do this and do that. You literally have to be comp compelled, right, by the will of the Lord to come in this thing. All right. Uh, real quick. This is Isaiah 65 and one. It says, I am sought of them that ask not for me. All right. I am sought of them that ask not for me. Right. Before I was uh, called into this truth, I wasn't looking for uh, looking for a Yahweh Shai. I wasn't looking for Yahweh <clears throat> or trying to get understanding with the uh, Bible. I wasn't looking for that. All right. But now <laughs> I am. Now I seek that. OK, that's why it says Isaiah 65 and one. I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. Right. I said, behold me, behold me unto a nation that was not called by my name. Right. But that first part of that scripture uh, deals with with the uh, the elect man, the ones that were called, the ones that were chosen. And I'm going to go into that uh, in the book of Ephesians. All right. Which I was uh, how I started off the lesson. Now I want to go into the book of Ephesians. Uh, uh, chapter one, I'm going to start at verse four. It says. According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai. Right. So this thing was already written uh, from the beginning. OK, all the spirits, the righteous elect spirits are inside these bodies right now. All had a, uh, a <laughs> I basically want to say almost like a time capsule or a stamp with a date and time where they would hear this gospel and, and it would click and they would wake up. All right. They would sincerely uh, click and wake up because, like I said in the beginning, none of this is by chance. 
None of this uh, is by chance of you being on those street corners, pushing this word, making these videos, joining the camp. And especially, uh, the, and it's to, talking directly for you, of you that's really going to carry this thing all the way to the end. All right. Uh, let me keep going. It says, having predestinated, predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai Mashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. So this is all about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's will. You you waking up to this uh, gospel, you're understanding this gospel, you're having the spirit and, and, and unquenchable thirst put on you to want to do this work. This is all through the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because at the end of the day, end of the day, somebody got to fulfill these scriptures. Somebody has to fulfill this. All right. And it's and, it, and it's you if you're listening to these words. And you got that uh, fire in you, <clears throat> right? Uh, to have that that faith in this, all right. Uh, let's keep going. Now let's uh, let's jump to another verse in Ephesians. This is Ephesians one. I'm gonna jump to verse seventeen. It says that the power of our Lord Yahweh Shai, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him, because you know, we got this through the uh, from our teachers, uh, the apostles of Great Millstone, starting with the top apostle uh, uh, elder to hire all on down. Right. So <clears throat> he has received the wisdom and certain revelations that he has passed down uh, to us. All right. Now, it's not that we're uh, mocking birds, but it takes a spiritual ear and a spirit inside someone to even take hold of. Uh, of the words that he that's being spoken, all right. That takes real faith, okay. That takes real faith to just hear something and then completely change your life uh, after hearing that, man. Okay. Like I said, that truly uh, takes uh, real faith. But going back to the beginning, this is all you're. It's all programmed in you. And you're just waiting. We're, we're waiting to hear that phrase, to hear that language, to hear this gospel. Sometimes you see movies where, you know, <laughs> you got like Russian spies that uh, basically, what's, what's the word, lack of a better word, almost been brainwashed to when they hear a certain uh, phrase, they'll click or come into action. That's similar to how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, from the beginning, predestined certain spirits. All right. Certain ones to hear this gospel. And guess what? Uh, click into action. All right. Uh, verse 18, it says the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know uh, what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. All right. So all this is dealing with uh, the saints, man. You know, <laughs> and you should know by now who are the saints, you know, who are the saints. And we go to that famous scripture in Psalms, but, you know, it's plain and clear that this is dealing with uh, the nation of Israel. They are the saints. All right. And. Uh, I believe I might have one more. Uh, one more scripture. So like you bear with me. This is the book of uh, Second Ezra, chapter nine. I'm going to start at five. It says, for like for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end and the end is manifest. Right. Doesn't it doesn't it tell you in the last book of Daniel that knowledge should grow? All right. Because those special elect ones, those those ones that were programmed from the beginning are, are what waking up. It says, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works. And endings and effects and signs. All right. It says, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. Right. So that faith, the works, all these things are programmed into a man. All right. I would have never, like I said, I would have never thought uh, before this truth of ever doing anything. Any of the things I would be doing right now, not in a, a hundred years. If you would have asked me when I was fuck 18 years old, 
<laughs> Where would I be at now? What would I be doing? What would I believe? What would I be uh, going after? But when I heard those, uh, like I said, heard that the gospel preached sincerely for the first time. Hey, that was it, man. All right. That was absolutely it. But that's the point of this lesson. I hope it uh, edified some of you. I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and Shalom the next time.